and welcome to Vlogmas Day 4! Welcome in everyone. We have made it to Vlogmas Day 4 y'all. I hope you guys have been enjoying the content because today guys we're going to be working with a lantern. Yes, we're going to decorate it, make it pretty and festive and you can use it for a decor piece or you can use it for a centerpiece. So let's get into it. So what I have here is I have a lantern and it's like it's white, kind of rustic and then it has like the snow on top. It glitters a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Then we have some flop pine cones. Yep, some flop pine cones. Then we have like a little silver pine cone with greenery. And then we have a burgundy and black bow. Yes. And we have our handy dandy glue gun. Let's see, it's hot. Yep. And I have some extra glue sticks in case I need them. And I know that I will need them, guys. So let's get into it. First, I'm going to open up the door because it does have like the foam down in the bottom so I'm gonna take that out and this is the foam that I'm removing I'm not gonna throw that away because I might can use that for another project okay so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna close the door back it has a little latch on the side okay so I have the front of let me put it to the side so y'all can see me so what I want to do is I want to take the bow, okay, and I want to hot glue this piece on there, this floor piece on there. Um, and I think I want to do it in the middle. Yep, I want to do it in the middle. So I want to do it, I want it to look like this. to look like that but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to glue I'm a tie and because I have the tie on the back I'm going to tie and I'm going to use the hot glue just for um just for um, extra protection on there so yeah and you know at the top here they have like these openings so you can easily tie it around it but of course you want it to be covered as well too. You don't want your tie here to show on the on the back, and then you can kind of turn your turn your bow however you want it on there. So I'm going to tie mine tight, and then I'm going to tuck it. I'm gonna tuck it. So when you making these bows, you probably want to use um. A pipe cleaner because you know you can bend and fold and stuff like that so you can see it right there y'all see that so I want to cover that I don't want that to show so I'm gonna tuck it as much as I can and I think I did so now I'm going to fluff 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 guys always remember to fluff your bows now also too i want this piece to show i don't want it covered up so this is my opening of my door right here this is the opening right here that's the opening so i don't want to block that And if you use a ribbon that has wire in it, then you can manipulate your ribbon. Meaning, you can shape it however you want to, and you're able to move it around as well too. So, but it depends on what look you're going for. I actually have several of these to make because it's going to be a centerpiece. So yeah, that's cute. I like that. So now we're going to put this piece on and I think that I want to put it right 
notch here in the middle. But I want to make sure that I put it in a space where it's going to be secure because the one thing you don't want guys is for you to be at an event and your centerpiece falls apart. That's the worst. So yeah. So yeah, so I'm gonna take my hot glue. Let me show y'all what I'm doing. I wanna place it right there, right there. So I'm gonna take my hot glue gun and I'm going to put my glue right here in the center. I'm going to take my floral piece and I'm just going to press it in against the ribbon. Be careful not to burn your hand because it's hot glue, honey. It'll burn your fingers if you get it on there. See, it's got a stick, stick, stick. I'm going to add some more um, glue, guys, because I don't want it falling apart. You want to make sure that it's sturdy. Okay. That's cute. This is a quick, simple, easy DIY lantern centerpiece. So let me let y'all see what it looks like so far. Like I said, if you want to, and I'm gonna go ahead and do this, I'm gonna tack the bow down to the lantern. So therefore, I don't have to worry about it moving. So yeah, I think I got it tacked on there pretty good because at first the ribbon was kind of shaking a little bit. So I was like, ooh. But um, you guys can do this little project however you want to do it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take some of our flopped pine cones and put them in here. And um, you can choose to do pine cones. You can do um, you can do ornaments. Of course, you can put a candle in here. You can put lighting in here. It's whatever you choose to do. It's up to you. Whatever look you're going for. But with these pine cones, you gotta make sure you put them in there whereas you can close the door. Okay, I'm gonna take one out. lock on it so they don't fall out okay and there you have it y'all quick simple and easy look at that look at my centerpiece Did you guys see and that's the front of it and then if you want to frost the glass a little bit you can if you want to put lights around it, you know you can, but I just wanted something um, simple and easy to do, a quick DIY, and this is what I have. And then too, if you want this a different color, of course you need to take the glass part, but you can spray paint it whatever color you like, but just make sure you cover the glass part so the paint doesn't get on the glass part. But yeah, this is my um, DIY lantern centerpiece. Or you can use it as a decor piece, guys. I hope you guys like this. So let's go back over what I needed to make this. I have a lantern, um, flop pine cones, a decorative bow, and then a floor piece. And I used my hot glue gun. And that was it. That's it, guys. That's all I used to make that. And you see, it didn't take long to make it either. So yeah, let's sit her down. That's the front. Yeah, that's cute. I hope y'all liked it. So 
yeah, I hope you guys liked it for Vlogmas. I love it, I love it, I love it. I'm just looking at it, y'all. I'm just staring at it because it looks really nice. I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. And then you got to be careful and make sure you put enough um, glue, hot glue on there, especially if it has this texture on here because it'll be hard to hold down. Okay. All right, guys. This is our completed lantern for Vlogmas Day 4, guys. Yes lantern for vlogmas day four and if this is your first time here please consider subscribing to the channel especially if you like diys like this you don't want to miss this yes so yeah guys um thumbs up this video if you like it and guys stay tuned for vlogmas day five stay safe and be blessed bye bye We just living life with Lisa, Lisa